hello and welcome in this video i will show you how we can do the indian gst tax engine extension since indian gst tax engine is based on the electronic reporting workspace and it is also based on the low code no code framework we do not need to do any coding to do any extension or customization in the indian gst tax engine today i will show you a scenario so say suppose the hsn 2201 with having rcm and the company wants to use this rcm with two different rates one same hsn with rcm 12 percent the same hsn will be used on the different scenario is rcm 18 percent please note this hsm and code is nothing to do with the law is just a uh, it's just an example i have made it may be or may not be uh, you no know, possible to see i mean fall into the same scenario where uh, 2201 is having uh, eligible for 12 percent and 18 percent it's just an example i have made so now if i look at it in the setup in tax tax uh, gst tax engine then we will know that in rcm in standard functionality this tax set type is not there however since i have mentioned this is based on the electronic reporting workspace we can we can add any any condition we want system to calculate the tax so now if i go back to our scenario so what we want to do is we want to add the tax rate type here and based on the tax rate type the same hsn code will have to 18 percent and another line will be having hsn code with 12 percent but it is not possible as for the standard solution like in rate we have the tax rate type but in reverse charge and load, load on inventory this tax rate type is not possible so how we can add this you know condition to this rcam and load on inventory percentage let's see how we can do that first we need to go to the organization administration and then go to electronic reporting and then here we will see tax configuration metadata conference and everything right so first what we need to do we need to click on configuration providers we need to create a configuration provider here maybe gst India. you can write anything here you don't need to write any exact thing or <clears throat> say gst india you can add your company organization name here once it is created it will be available here gst india like i have created as a configuration provider now i will select it and i will click on set active my first step is done if you want to look at it just pause and rewind and check what i have done then i will go to tax info tax configurations tiles here i will see what i have imported previously as part of gst india configuration and all now what i need to do I need to keep everything as same what I have done in my setup, but I want to add a new condition as tax rate type and reverses and load and window. What I need to do now to do uh, to cater my requirement, I need to select it here and then I need to click on create configuration and then I need to click on here tax configuration derived from name. So, what basically it is, I'm not creating from scratch, I'm just taking the previous standard solution and creating a amended version now here maybe here i will gst india extension and configuration provider will be automatically coming here i will click on create configuration so my new configuration is created let's wait it will be created yeah now you see under tax india gst the sender solution a new configuration has been created what we have done basically we cannot amend anything from uh, from the standard one we need to we just need to do the extension based on the previous one standard one right now what i will do i will click on edit and then we'll go to designer Okay, now this form will open 
what do we need to do? We need to click on GST, expand the GST and expand CGST, expand AGST, expand IGST. First, we need to do the changes in CGST. I will select on this reverse charge percentage because I want to change or I don't, I don't I want to add the condition and reverse charge percentage at first. If if needed, you can also add the condition and load on inventory percentage as well. Now I want to add the condition and reverse charge percentage. I have selected reverse charge percentage. I will click on lookups and then this form will open. And here I need to click on columns. So as a new form will open. This will give me the possibility to select that condition from here. Whatever the condition I want to add, I can add. So uh, my my requirement is to I want to add a tax rate type. So under lines, if I check it, here it is. I, I will select this tax rate type. I will select it. Okay. Okay. And then it is here. Now I will click on OK. So I have added this tax rate type condition in CGST under CGST under reverse charge percentage. However, it is mandatory to do these changes in other component like SGST and IGST. I will not do that now. You can do this uh, while you are doing this in your environment. But don't forget to add because without if you do this in CGST, we need to do this in SGST and IGST both. Once done, all the component changes and addition of column or condition, I will save it. I will close the form. Now my work is done in this extension. What I need to do, I need to click on change status. I need to change the status to complete and system will ask me the initial version i will click on ok gst changes gst tax tax rate type condition click on ok now you will notice a new line will be created as a completed previously it was in draft status It is taking some time because it is creating another version. Now see this pop-up is version 2 of configuration is created. So now as you see completed version is there. So our changes whatever we have changed in as part of extension it is there. In future if you want to do some changes you again need to click on draft. Click on edit. Go to design and change the condition. And now our configuration file is ready and completed. It's one one part of the setup is done now what we need to do we need to go to tax module tax setup and select the companies and we'll click on edit and go to configurations now what we need to do we need to click on new because this was a previous one which was configured now we need to do we need to select the configuration version we have created just now so this drop down is basically coming from the electronic reporting workspace and we have extended the version this one we have extended and completed right so we'll click on it and click on save as soon as we click on save the synchronize option will appear we need to click on synchronize and then this is very much important otherwise you will lose a lot of data so what is this about? You remember when you have created the GST setup, you have imported all the adjacent code as a rate, reverse as percentage, right? So all those were in your previous version. So what is it asking? It is asking to, you know, to allow you to select yes and copy tax setup data from the original version. Original version means your last version. You need to select your last version where you have configured the other setup like HSN code, rates, reverse percentage and all. Otherwise, if you select, if you don't select and if you don't copy, your entire configuration will be blank. You need to do the setup like rate, the reverse charge and load, in, load on inventory from the scratch. 
so once you are selected to yes you need to select the original configuration and you need to click on ok before you click on ok you can also click on batch processing to yes it will be run on batch so i will click on ok so it will take uh, some time based on your uh, data size you are selecting so see the pop-up is coming you are deleting configuration gst india extension one and set up data and replacing it with configuration so it's right because we are removing if if there is anything like blank data is there we have not configured anything on the new version so we are deleting the data and migrating the data from the previous version and it is you know supposed to be we, we have to do that otherwise we need to do all the setup from scratch so i will click on okay so it will take a little bit of time the reason is uh you now based on your data configuration what we have done in your previous version it will take some time so let's wait once it is completed uh, the pop-up will be coming here it is taking a it is taking some time i always suggest you do this you know uh, synchronization on batch processing but you know in this session i wanted to show you a screen so now it is processing the operations and it is done see migration is completed synchronization is completed so everything is done we are ready to go still we need to do some activity here because you see the previous version was this indian gst and gst india extension is this so what we need to do once it is uh, this migration is completed synchronization completed the status will be uh, changed from draft to available what you need to do we need to click on activate it's done it is active now what i will do now i will show you the result what basically we have done i will click on setup and now i will go to cgst reverse search percentage now you see the tax rate type condition is here you can add the tax rate type for same adjacent is suppose 12 percent uh, it is 12 and the same adjacent same it is an add with tax rate type of 18 so now system will calculate based on your selection in your transactions so suppose you want to use this adjacent code with reverse charge 18 percent so what you need to do you need to select adjacent code and tax rate type is 18 same as one same adjacent code can be used with 12% of ICM if you select tax rate type as 12. So this is not the end. You can add any condition if you want. I just wanted to show you one condition which you can use as tax rate type is a common, very common um, you know, column you can add. But we can add anything like vendor account, anything. Yeah, that's it. I hope you have understood uh, how we can do the customization or extension in GST engine. It's a low code, no code functionality. We can use, you can use any or add anything from the uh, tax engine. Yeah, that's it for this video. Stay tuned. Bye.